hey everyone welcome to the tech channel today we have another product from seed studio and remember last time when i did tutorial about voice recognition module i uh, they also sent me this light sensor and i'm gonna test it today i'm gonna interface it with arduino uno and i also make a trip wire uh, based on this module and i'm gonna do two versions one without keypad and other one with keypad uh, see it as their motto says the IoT hardware enabler they provide a wide variety of electronic products like uh, development boards uh, sensors actuators uh, robots or tools or everything related to electronics you can check all of this from the link right below so as I said in my previous video uh, C studio were too kind to give me a coupon and I had to choose so the first one was the voice recognition module and the other one is a light sensor we're gonna first open it so here's the module here's its cable and as usual there's a descriptive cardboard with it so first we're gonna interface it with our Arduino board then we're gonna implement it in the project so this is the module it has four pins uh, and four pins cable for groove like uh, all groove uh, modules have uh, this kind of connector but here we are just using the ground VCC and the signal the signal is an analog signal we're gonna read it by the analog read by the Arduino Uno it's very easy the other pin is not connected so the wiring is very simple just this cable groove cable over here then we have three wires over here, jump wires, because I don't have the groove shield. And here is the ground. VCC, I'm gonna use 5 volt. Then there's analog grid, I'm gonna use, uh, sorry, the analog pin, I'm gonna use the analog pin 0, A0. So that's it. I'm gonna see the first code and read really like the ambient lighting. So this is the first and easy code to start with. We just define the pin of the analog input which is zero and i call the rig for receiver then serial begin and just print the value of the sensor on the serial monitor upload to the arduino and let's check the result so this is it this is the maximum val value you can get by the sensor and as you can see if i cover it values changes it depends on the ambient light going to turn off the light here which is dropped like uh, so this is the maximum value so that's it how you test this module and then we're gonna first make our like trip wire which means like an alarm that goes off whenever light is not detected so and now I'm going to make a laser trip wire alarm it's very simple it will be based on this module for sure and then a the buzzer I've already used this buzzer in my channel you can check the tutorial about it and then a laser the laser also is very simple to use and there's a tutorial about it in my channel so the idea is very simple the laser will constantly send light to the sensor and when someone passes the sensor won't detect anything and the alarm will go off and to stop it you should press a push button i've already installed in my breadboard it's very simple so here first to avoid an issue we should cover like a little bit this uh, sensor because otherwise it will be just detecting the ambient light so for a real project you can make a case for it and then like uh, keep a little hole here to send the laser to it so here i just improvise a quick cover to solve this uh, issue 
it will be easy and simple if you want to remove it or change it so like for a real project as I said make a nice case so that's it we go cover it from the ambient light and now let's check again the sensor value if this our cover worked or not so we'll use the same code open a serial monitor and our cover seem working now if I send the laser to like uh, to this uh, opening here it will show the 700 value now I'm gonna point it to light 100 it's good so like for a straight to laser it will be 700 and also I'm going to need this just so can, I can place them I just want to fix my module here and here I'm going to place like uh, my laser so for the laser I'm just using two pins one for the ground and one in number two that's it going to upload the next code so the laser now is powered and as you can see in the serial monitor the value is 700 is the maximum and if I place my hand it will goes back to 20 which is good now our sensor is not uh, detecting the ambient light was just the laser light which is good and that's what we want so now let's add the button and let's add the, uh, the buzzer so for the buzzer I'm using pin number 13 for the in out and then there's ground and VCC VCC I'll be using just 3.3 volt ground from here oh sorry ground I forgot to add the button because I'll be using its ground too so this is the button and this is its output it will be in 3 for the power we will power it with 3.3 volt 2 that's it and then there's ground ok and the ground from the buzzer will go here too so now we have everything button, laser, sensor and buzzer and I'm going to power the Arduino and upload the next code so that's the other code and as you can see I just add the laser and button then I'm re um, putting the laser on high from like from the setup it's always on high so here we are constantly reading the values from the sensor and from the button and then if this, there's something passes like through the laser the sensor value will drop and will go below 500 so and the detection will be true and why I did this like even though if the uh, detection is above 700 like after a passing it will the alarm won't stop it just go off until you press the, the button this is why I added this condition so if this is the alarm it's done 13 like uh, 2000 in the frequency like frequency of the buzzer you can change it like whatever you want here so this is like the tone I chose for for the alarm and it won't stop until you press like the button so let's test it so people who are using like headphones or something this thing is a bit loud people are complaining as you can see it won't stop until I press the button so this is the first alarm it's pretty easy now we're gonna pass the other one that uses the keypad so now I removed the button and the breadboard with it and I replaced it with my keypad I also removed the wire 
for the buzzer so it won't the alarm won't go off for uh, while changing it now I'm going to check the code so so this is the code for the keypad now the idea is like the previous code when the alarm goes off you should enter a passcode to stop it so here this is my passcode it's 1366 I took here four digits you can take six or nine or whatever you want I just took this uh, usual code I use here 1366 and then here like when the laser is cut off the alarm will go off too and here I kept like uh, no I changed here the tone just to make it like uh, a little bit uh, it's quiet not louder like the other one here it depends on the frequency it will make it like louder or uh, quiet so here to stop the alarm you should press the star key when you press it it sends you to the get pass uh, function the get pass function keeps like the tone at a specified uh, frequency and then it reads the code you just entered and if it's correct it will stop like uh, whenever the code is correct this a will increase like if it's 4 which means like all the digits are correct the alarm will stop so everything is set up now I'm going to test it and be cautious because the buzzer sorry will be louder now because when I enter the passcode it will be fixed on a single frequency now let's test it and enter the code going for another test So that's it for this project, I hope you like it, if you have any problem or question you can ask me, codes and wiring will be in a link right below as usual, if you like this video put a like, subscribe or whatever you want, thanks again to Seed Studio for offering me these coupons and see you next time.